In this video, you'll learn about the Visual Text Box Editor in Blackboard. The Visual Text Box Editor allows you to format your text in many areas in Blackboard, including when you create an announcement, a discussion board, post, an item, and an assignment. Anywhere you see this box, you're using the Text Box Editor. There are two versions of the Text Box Editor, and by clicking on these two arrows, you can switch between Simple Mode and Advanced Mode. To change your text, first You'll click and drag to highlight, and then you can change the text to bold, italic, underline, or strike through. You also have some paragraph formatting that you can choose from, as well as changing the style of the font and the font size. If you want to turn a list of items into a bulleted list, click and drag to highlight. Choose bullets. Uh, you can also choose between circle, disk, or squares to be in front. You can also change this into a numbered list where it actually starts with alphabetical characters, Greek or Roman or the default. To make text stand out, you can change it to a different color by first clicking and dragging to highlight. And then I'll pick a color. You can also highlight text by first clicking and dragging and then choosing the highlight pen and then choosing a color from there. The last icon on this row is Remove Formatting. This is helpful when you copy and paste in text from Microsoft Word. This will take out all the Microsoft Word formatting. To the right, you have the Preview option that allows you to see what the students will see. And I can close that out. We have I for the Help option. And we also have Full Screen Mode which can be helpful when you're trying to edit your text to have more space to work with. To turn off the full screen mode, I'll click on the full screen mode icon again. On the second row, we have your basic cut, copy, and paste. There's also a new find feature. If I click on the magnifying glass, I can type in some text that I'm looking for. There's also undo and redo, and then alignment, left, right, centered, and justified. There's also a way to indent your type. So let me highlight this and I'll choose indent and I can indent again or I can use the next one over and choose outdent to bring it back again. There's also a superscript and a subscript option and there's the ability to insert and remove a link. So let's say at the end of this I want to send the students right to the bookstore so I will click and drag to highlight and I'll turn that into a link by clicking on the insert link feature and then I will paste in the link to the bookstore and I want this actually to open in a new window and I'll choose insert and now to see what it looks like I'll click on preview and then when I click on it we'll see what happens for the students it takes them right to the bookstore Depending on what language you're using, you can have the text display from left to right or to go from right to left. You can insert a line by clicking on the line tool or you can insert a horizontal rule or some non-breaking space characters. There's also the spell checker and you have a choice of choosing US English, Spanish or UK English. On the third row, there's a new feature called Video Everywhere, where you can record from your webcam. It's a nice way to add a personal message into your Blackboard, but just note that you need a YouTube account for that to work. Right next to that, we can insert a file. We can insert an image. You can embed media, such as a video or an audio file. And then there's also a math editor. Using the mashups, you can seamlessly integrate a YouTube video. I'll click on YouTube and then I will enter in the name of the video that I'm looking for on YouTube and click go. And I'm looking for the one about the Rutgers Library, so I'll click on select. And now I have some options. It will show it as a thumbnail. I want it to show the YouTube URL and click submit. And now when students see the announcement, they'll see a little mini version of the video and they'll be able to click on it to play it.
After mashups, the next feature is to be able to hide or show non-printing characters. You can also block out a quote and insert some symbols. You can also put in emoticons. There's an anchor if you want to anchor text. If you have a lot of text and you want students to be able to move up or down quickly, you can also add a table into your text box. We'll move down here and I will click the insert edit table icon and now I can specify the number of columns and the number of rows and then the width and click insert and I have a table inserted. If there's changes that you want to make you can go in and change the table row properties for example make the rows bigger or the columns wider you can also insert more rows, delete rows, add columns, delete columns, and merge some of the cells or split the cells. You can edit the HTML code if you'd like or the cascading style sheets. At any time we can click on the preview icon to see what this will look like for the students. If you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session to help you with this, please email us at the Office of Academic Technology or give us a call.